how you optimize videos. And I told them, this is what I do. The same stuff that's in your training materials we share, I put the videos up, and I give you a walkthrough on some of the stuff and the rankings, it's all in there. But this can be scaled out to an ungodly degree. My 13 videos can be turned into 10,000 pieces of content. You could take keyword extraction tools, get all the keywords you want, get your team of Amazon people or your team of people overseas that work for you through Workers for Hire and any other service that use outsourcing, and just let them go to town. With 13 videos, just tell them all you got to do is change the title and change the tags and the description, and here's all the words I want you to use. You can even have a program mix it up for you, no problem. Your 13 pieces of content become 10,000, as far as the engines are concerned, it's 10,000 unique pieces of content because they only know what it is because you tell them what it is. And if you're telling them what it is, then we get to tell them whatever we want. So take the same videos, use them all over and over and over and over and over and again. So people who subscribe to your channel is a good optimization trick. So is getting incoming links. So you post it to your own sites because your own sites count too. So if you build a network of sites like Dory was talking about or my feeder site system, and I'll show you why you want to do that later, where do you think you should put some of these videos? Your own sites. Not just because you want people to your sites, but because you're creating views every time someone views it, and you're creating incoming links for YouTube's accounts too. And it's not difficult to do. It's very simple stuff. We showed you that YouTube video. I'll show you the rankings. We own six or eight of the top spots for the exact model number on Google for the camera test that we did yesterday. We showed you how you take that $229 camera and in five minutes have a video on, loaded up on YouTube ready to go. Then my guys went and they went to work doing the social bookmarking stuff that we have in your tutorials that are on your discs. And the next day we have something like eight for the exact model number on the front page. We have misspellings, we have correct spellings. People search for it, they search for it misspelled, we own it. They search for it spelled, it's a little more competition, we still show up. And it's only been 24 hours for a camera. Now, that's on my blog. What was on that blog? Digital Camera Reviews blog. I've got Amazon. I've got AdSense. So all those things are showing up in search engines. People visit my site. They want to buy the camera. They like it. They see my video there about it. I get paid. I'm also driving traffic to my websites. So if I want to collect emails, I can collect email. For <clears throat> these type of promotions that we're doing, and I'm tracking see general movements in opt-ins, and I set up special opt-ins for it, and you can actually track it by setting up a special opt-in just for this test. I can see how many opt-ins that I'm getting as a result of the video distribution that we're doing. Does everyone understand how easy that is? You want to know how it gets tracked? You set up a special, special website. You set up, go over to Wayweber Weber, and pop out a new web capture form and say, this is my affiliate marketing video test. That's what you want to call it. And there's no other way for people to get that list if you build a, web, a brand new site, and you take a static page, you bury it deep in that site, you don't link to it from anywhere in the world, but in your videos it drives the people to that opt-in page, you can know with absolute certainty how viral that video was and how good it was at sending you leads for your opt-in. That's how I test stuff. So when I say I test, I test. And I isolate it as much as I possibly can. What kills me is when I see these tests people do and they say, oh, this works, this works. Well, how could you possibly have isolated all the variables that are involved with something like that? You can't. So I see some of these guys giving out this SEO advice, and yet yeah, it might help, but it, you can't isolate why it is that it's doing what it's doing. It could be the RSS feeds. We can't control that. It could be many different things. So when you set up a test and you want to say with absolute certainty that it worked yes or no, isolate it completely. There's another service. One of the things that we're putting into our video submission software is, we're, I don't know if it's in phase one, but we're going to be installing tracking so you can actually track the videos. I probably shouldn't have said that on camera because somebody else beat me to it because we're so busy we'll never get around to finishing it. But Ann was teasing me because I have all these products on the shelf that are ready to go. I have ready to go, but I don't have time to promote them. I have boxes. That's why we keep giving you guys free stuff because I love you too. So. But uh, we have it. We sold it. Some of the stuff stole. Like the DVD sets that I gave you today, the people paid $10,000 to be at that seminar. So these aren't trinkets that I'm giving you. It's a $10,000 seminar, and you guys get the entire thing on the DVDs that I told you about earlier by the back door as you walk out. Any questions? This stuff is all in your manual, man. I could talk for five days on each one of these topics, but we already created a video. I walk you through what I do to optimize, and we also teach you how to use the social bookmarking tools. We show the exact ones we use, Traffic Geyser, Social Marker. They're all, well, Traffic Geyser is not free, but Social Marker is, and we walk you through it step by step. It's already in your training material. Um, Jeff, I've got a couple of questions. Um, I understand why you chopped up the, 
the video. I mean, I, I was there for that. Um, why 13? Was it, was it you want a minimum of five minutes? Or was it, you know, you, you're looking at, that oh, here's a, here's a clean break. You took a breath. And you, you hardly took any breath in no. that thing. But <clears throat> was that a good presentation? I got some good feedback on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, was there, is there an optimal amount of time? The reason there's 13 is because unless you get a special director's account, you're limited to 10-minute video segments. That's why. Okay. So with our editing and stuff, it works out to 13. Okay. And I didn't do the edits. No, no I, my guys but didn't. I'm assuming there's some logic behind why it ended up. There's no up. logic. It's because that's what it happened to work out to be 13. Now, it's purposely not one video. I could right. have gotten a director's account and put one video up, but then I'd only have one piece of content to turn into 10,000. So I wanted, I said, well, break yeah, it Well, yeah, I mean, 10,000 times 13 is yeah. 13,000, right? And it got to be a point or of diminishing returns, 000. like Pablo said. Okay, you have to look at the cost benefit of what you're doing additionally. Incrementally, is it going to make it worth my while, the expenses and resources that I'm spending to do it? I could have and chop it up to 27, but I still pay them by the hour. So. And I thought 13 was enough for the time. One, one other question, and um, I know what you're doing with the, the, the keywords and changing it, and it's a great idea. I mean, wonderful repurposing, because you are talking about affiliate marketing. You're talking about internet marketing. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of things that are relevant. Are you using any transcripts from, from the, the video? No, and that's something I have on my task of things that we need to do is to get everything transcribed and add those to the videos too for search engine food. And then you'd have to, obviously, if you're, if you're doing, um, if, if the one that we're, we're, you're working on right now is the affiliate marketing one, mm -hmm. if you may have to add the odd affiliate marketing term in there. Yeah, or you can do Even though it may not be a direct transcript from what's on the, on the video. You can just do a simple direct and search and replace and you can hire your people from Amazon to do it right. for you for five cents a pop. Right. And all so you haven't done that yet, but that's no, something... Actually, we use software for stuff like that. We do have software that does that kind of stuff, and it can replace the terms for us wholesale in the articles that we use. Oh, really? So it can be automated, but you can pay someone to do it, too. Okay. But there was a, an article I read someplace about a website that actually ranks well on some of the testing that we've done, and I can't think of the name of it right now, because I don't do everything myself anymore. When I was the SEO phase... I did all the testing myself, set it all up, but I have staff that does it all over the world to do that kind of stuff. So, but there was an article that talked about they actually took your video and then transcribed it, and then they attached the content of that transcription to the video itself so the search engines would know what was in the video. That's where I got the idea for that social optimization page. I read another article about a company that had press release templates social media test. And if you look at the blog post, I give them full credit. I said, this is where I got the idea. This is what generated the idea for me. I give full credit. And I said in the blog post, 